Hi, I'm Sarah Bonamolo, and today we're here with Phil, the founder of Smart Focus. How are you doing today, Phil? I'm good. I'm excited to be making this video with you today. Great. So, um, could you tell us a little bit about the history of how Smart Focus got started? Sure. We started this program in 2009. It was a product born of necessity. Mm -hmm. uh, back in those days, we were doing a lot of different motorsports events, whether it was racing cars, and some of my buddies were even into racing mopeds, which uh, was never really for me, but I loved their enthusiasm about it. And when we were doing these events, it was always footage on our camcorders that we would take off and edit and then get up on our Facebook page. And that was a time consuming process and it, would, and it was brought up that it would have been so much easier if we could just do all of it from our phones since all the technology was already there. A friend of mine went home that night and made a prototype. He was the one who actually came up with the original idea and now I just manage the business side of the future development. But uh, we took his prototype, put it into production and since 2009, this has been our livelihood. This is what we do. So what all comes in the Smart Focus box? Well, that's something I would love to share with everybody. So when you get one of our kits, it starts with our case, which is available for the iPhone 4 and 5. We've got 5C and iPod Touch in development for time filming this. Our two lens bundle comes with a wide angle and a macro lens. Our three lens bundle adds a telephoto lens, two times, spoke, uh, two times zoom and our five lens bundle adds a super macro and a fisheye. We also have plus bundles. Those kits add lens caps for your lenses, UV filters, and then a polarizing filter. And then we also have kits with microphones, and those kits include our shotgun microphone, which is compatible with all cameras, an iPhone adapter, which adapts three and a half millimeter microphones like this one to iPhone, and it comes with two different types of windscreen protection. Each lens gets its own pouch, the microphone gets its own pouch as well, and there's a master pouch to hold your case and lenses. So, now that we know what's in the box, how do we set it up? Setup is very easy. It starts by taking your iPhone out of your pocket and sliding it into the case. It goes right in. And then when you're ready to attach lenses, make your lens choice, remove the lens caps, and drop it on. You'll find that it's quite easy to go back a little bit to the left, you'll hear it click, and it threads right on. For lens caps, pinch them, drop them on there, pinch them again, take them off. UV filters attach by threading on to the front side of the lens. You can do the same spin back, drop on, and lens caps also work with the filters. If you decide that you're ready to add a microphone, start, make sure it's nice and loose, slide it into the shoe mount, and you'll notice that it only goes in about halfway, and that's by design. You Otherwise, the windsock would stick out into the footage. You also get a 3.5 millimeter to iPhone microphone adapter, as this microphone is also compatible with DSLRs, we include this adapter so it'll work with your iPhone. Plug that into the headphone jack, connect both ends, use the supplied notch to route the microphone cable back over to avoid it getting into your shot. And that's about all there is to do to set up your uh, set up your Smart Focus kit. Wonderful. I mean, it seems simple enough. Yeah. And the last thing I'd like to show you is just how to get the phone back out. Start by removing any adapter that you may have and just slide it out into your hand. So, can you tell us about the lenses and when it's appropriate to use each one? Certainly. The wide angle lens is the base lens that comes in all of our kits. And this lens is good to use when you're in a very wide open space, whether you're doing like a scenic backdrop or an auditorium, uh, that's when you bring in a wide angle. The macro lens, which comes with the wide angle, is good for close ups. If you wanted to take a picture of a bug or a jewelry or a quarter, uh, you'd use the macro lens. The next lens that comes in our three lens bundle is the telephoto lens. Uh, this is a zoom lens, so if you need to focus on a subject, um, case in point like an interview like we're doing right now, you would use the zoom lens to bring you closer to your subject. Uh, the fisheye lens is, in my opinion, it's a bit of a mm, special use lens. There will be a time and a place to use a fisheye lens when you want to capture that big bowl looking experience. Um, the, the super macro that comes with it is stronger than the macro and the wide angle, and this is when you really want to get fine details. 
um, on what you're taking a picture of. The two filters that come in the kit, uh, the UV filter is designed to protect uh, the camera when you're using this in high uh, sunlight areas. Uh, the polarizing filter will balance the colors and uh, overall photo when, again, you're in a very bright area. Hmm. One common misconception that I think people have with these kits is that since it comes with a lens, you should always use a lens. There are times when it's only appropriate to use the native iPhone lens. Uh, otherwise, if you're trying to cram a wide angle into a very tight space, you'll get weird distortions on the edges, and that's just the nature of wide angle photography. Well, I think since this is the instructional video, I should add, you probably don't want to eat any of these components. You don't want to throw them at people. You just want to use them to take good photos and video. Perfect. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do you see the future of this product going? Well, the future, I think, is very bright. As the cameras and technology in the devices continues to improve, you will have a wider uh, user base for a product like this. Um, and we really want to empower end users, small businesses, medium businesses to be able to enhance their social media, to enhance their expression, to be able to capture their film. We have a great network of independent filmmakers who are doing some fantastic work using an iPhone. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing to think that, you know, in 2009 we were called crazy and now this is becoming the norm. I mean, everyone uses their smartphone as their camera. Uh, so we've been developing different apps and we've been working with different app developers as well uh, that have their own apps. Uh, our photography app is just newly released into the store. It's a great addition to your product. I just see a wonderful and exciting future for this type of technology. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, Phil. And before we forget, where can we go to find this product? Yeah, you can visit us on our website, smartfocus.com. Focus is spelled with a PH like phone. Uh, and you can see our accessories, pricing, different bundles, and uh, anything you want to know about the product. Perfect. Thank you so much, Phil. Yeah, you're welcome.